Hello, this is hello, this is Good Money Store coming at you with a haul from the Dollar Tree, my favorite store. If you hear my dog Sailor barking, please forgive that. Apparently, she must see something, and she's on a roll. But um, let's start off by saying, if you like my channel, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But by all means, if you really, really love my channel, hit that subscription button below. And that will get you notified every time I upload a new video. And I want to thank you in advance for taking the time out to view these videos. Okay, let's get started. I got these socks because Crafty Sherry Cupcake, who is from Canada, is getting ready to do a DIY using these particular socks. And so I got me three pair of them. And I think she said that we were going to be making some snowmen out of these. And I got another great idea of, about these socks too, which I'm not going to give it out. I'm just going to go ahead and do it and then I'll show you. But these are the softest socks, guys. And for a dollar, and they are selling out like crazy. Particular these, the red and white ones. So I'll let you know when we do that uh, craft. And then I found this headband, which I really, really like because I got the pink gloves that they have out with the fur around them. This is who this is by. And so it matches it perfectly. So a dollar. And the socks are by Snuggle, S Snuggle Do Too. And it says super soft socks. So let's move right along. And then I got these. Oh, where's the other one? I thought I got two. I do. Here they are. I got these uh, glitter markers, and they're by Ink. And this particular one has the red and the blue, and it has a bullet tip. So these will come in really handy during the holidays when I'm doing my crafts for Christmas. There you go, right there. And then this one, same company, Ink. Glitter markers. This one is in uh, gold and green. And there's two in a pack. And these are pretty hard to find. So I was really surprised when I found them yesterday. I finally decided to go ahead and buy one of these Global Beauty Cares. I've seen so many ladies haul these. This is the charcoal um, a carbon cleansing nose strip. And I have listen to what they said about using these you have to be really careful when taking these off your nose so i'm gonna give it a try and see what happens and i will do a review on that you know if you get these in the store they're not really cheap so i'm gonna try it out for a dollar can't be bad and as always i love my aim uh Floss picks, these are really great. I mean, you get 60 in a pack. So, a dollar, you can't lose with that. And then the lipsticks. Yes, the lipsticks, lady. This is by LA Colors. This is a lip dual gloss lipstick. And the number on this one is CBLG15. Zero, and it's Eternal Flame. That is the name on this one. I'm trying to get it up close enough. Can't really get it into focus, but this is the color of this particular lipstick. I love it. And then this is the gloss color. Sorry for the glare, but that's that one. Then this next one, I, for whatever reason, I simply love this color this year. This is so pretty trying not to have it where it's clearing so much that's the lip gloss and then this is the lipstick here i wish i could show that to you better okay and then the number on this is cbl g149 and this is vivid this is the name of this one it's called vivid Beautiful colors. If you can see this without the camera, just beautiful. And then this last one is CBL C823, and this is called Flushed. That's the lip gloss right there. 
And then this is the lipstick. It's a real red. Real red. Okay. And then I found these Kiss Fingernail Polishes. I did not have these. So uh, I saw Miss Black go haul these. And lo and behold, I go to the store. And there they are. This is the gel Kiss Gel Fingernail Polish. It's kind of a, I want to say a green. Uh, but it, this one is called... This one is called This Romance. That's what this is called. This Romance. Okay, the next one is, I guess you would call this an orange. Really nice. I like this. And this is called Mood Today. That's the name of this one, Mood Today. Then this one is, wow, I don't know. It looks like a blue kind of and this one is called that moment that's what this is called that moment and then finally this is kind of a grayish violet looking color to me and it's called eye contact that's what that's called and these are the kiss fingernail uh, polishes I have one more item for this one this is a vase that I found not a vase but it's a flower yeah a flower vase that I'm going to use for a project uh, for Thanksgiving putting some flowers and some different things in it and you know you can't beat these these are a dollar if you go to like Michael's Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that not a dollar not going to get these things for a dollar. So I grabbed this up. So I am going to end this video. And I am just so grateful today is Saturday. It had been raining most of the day, but it's starting to clear up. The sun has actually come out. Um, didn't feel like getting all putting clothes on so I could film. So this is why I'm filming this way. Just a lazy Saturday. But I thought I could be productive and get these videos out, which I'm grateful. But my, my biggest thing is I just want to make sure that I get these things out to you guys. So if that you're an avid uh, Dollar Tree fan, go to the Dollar Tree. I mean, go. You can find some good things. And if one particular store does not have what you want and if you don't mind traveling, go to another. Because all stores differ in what they carry. I have found this out. My neighborhood Dollar Tree does not carry half the stuff that I have found. Most of what I find are in stores that are not in my neighborhood. So sometimes you do have to venture out to find um, some items that you would want. So just, you know, just throwing that out there. But um, and when you go into that Dollar Tree, you know, speak to those cashiers and those that are stocking the shelves and stuff they've got a hard job that store is super super busy and you get a lot of people that go in there that are not very respectful of the store and you know people are just not respectful but that's my neighborhood store those are my stores i go to and i want to be respectful because if someone comes to my house i want them to be respectful of my home and vice versa, if I go to their home, I need to be respectful. So when we go into these stores, we have to remember we are consumers, yes. But we are consumers that have the cashiers and the clerks and stuff that they're people too. And we need to respect them just like we want them to respect us. So let's be grateful that we have people that are in this line of work, retail, sales, I've done it before and I know that it's a hard job. So my prayer today is everyone that is in that field, I pray that God would just give them the strength to endure the things they have to go through on a daily basis working with the public because the public can be some hard people to work with. And I say that because I know it. So uh, you have a blessed Saturday. Enjoy the weather if it's good in your neck of the woods because old man winter is heading this way. So you be blessed. And until next time, this is Good Money Stewart signing off.